This is giant hogweed, Heraclium mantegazzianum. It's called giant hogweed for a reason, they can grow huge, even upwards of 5 metres tall, or 16 feet. These ones here are just under 5 metres. You're most likely to find it along waterways in the UK. This is the River Froome near Stroud, and there's loads of giant hogweed around here. This is a smaller one. It can also be found in damp fields, damp woodlands and along roads. This is a plant you absolutely don't want to touch as its sap is phototoxic. If you get the sap on you, it can take away your skin's natural protection from UV light, so you'll get really nasty blisters from sunlight. In some cases, this can last over five years. It's a Schedule 9 invasive plant in the UK, and it spreads quickly along waterways, so it probably won't be eradicated anytime soon. If you spot it on public land, you should report it to get it removed. You can do this on your local council website. If you need to remove it from your own land, be really careful and wear protective gear, especially on your eyes. If you've got quite a lot of it, it's probably best to call in a professional. One other thing that I'd recommend is making sure your kids know how to recognise this plant because unfortunately a lot of the giant hogweed injuries come from kids uh, like going to retrieve their footballs or just running through patches like this and it can cause some really really nasty injuries. So here's how to identify giant hogweed. As I said before when it's fully grown it can reach over five meters tall. Its leaves are deeply lobed and sharply pointed. They almost resemble large rhubarb leaves and these leaves can grow huge even up to three meters long especially the leaves at the base of the plant. In the plant's first year it will only form a rosette of basil leaves and then in its second year, it develops the tall flowering stem. The stems are green with lots of red or purplish blotches on them. And they're also covered in white bristly hairs, although those hairs can disappear as the plant gets older. And the stem also has vertical grooves running up its length. The flowers appear in June and July. Each flower has five white petals and they form in large umbels or umbrella-like clusters. Each umbel can measure nearly one meter in diameter, though around 40 centimeters is more common. Giant hogweed is often confused for this plant here, which is common hogweed. Once these two plants are fully grown, their size is enough to tell the two plants apart. Common hogweed will grow to two meters, maybe three meters at the most. And also the leaves are not quite as sharply pointed as those of giant hogweed. And also the leaves and the stems of common hogweed are covered in this white downy fur. Common hogweed can have purple bands of colour, but they don't have the red or purple flecking or spots on. I have made a video going into more detail of how to identify common hogweed. I'll leave a link to that in the description. So stay safe if you're in an area with giant hogweed and thanks for watching.